dirty old RC bills of here, eh? Friggin' right, boys and girls. Today on the old RC video, I'm gonna put the old slash Ruski back together, I am. Why the hell wouldn't we? Kinda got it somewhat apart here, and I'll tell you right now, she's in rougher shape than I thought, boys. The drive shaft is euchred. Look at it. She's all friggin' warped, she is. So, that tells me. Friggin' right, it is. I just happen to have two brand new spare ones, boys. So part number for that is 6855, if you're wondering, for the drive shaft for the old flash. So we need a 6855. We're gonna need the steering control module, which is uh, 6845X. Pretty right, this. So we're gonna need that. We're gonna need a few, uh, I got quite a few of these, so I don't know the numbers offhand because they're all out of the bag, boys. But we're gonna need a couple of uh, lower control arms, which I seem to have a few of them, eh? We're getting ready to do so. We'll need some of them. And we're going to need the old shocks because I ain't buying new shocks right now and they are just dicked right over, boys. So we're going to put two of the stock shocks back on the old slash. We're getting right here and two are longer than the others. So I'm going to go with these ones. I right, the shorter ones with the two, boys. There we go. So first we're going to need to do is flip this thing over, figure out the old steering mechanism, eh? The old steering mechanism, boys. So obviously, I must have broke off friggin' screw too, I did. Friggin' right I did. Hopefully the screw comes in that package. I got, frig doesn't look like it. Why the hell would it come in it? Let's get this thing open up and we'll check. Okay. See throughout, boys. Hang on to her, Jim. <laughs> Decent. Dump this out in front of me right now, and by the looks of it, I do not have that screw. Why the hell would it come with a screw to hold it down? That would not make any sense at all. Not one sense at all. Unbelievable. Oh well, we'll put this all over here for now. See if we can't find a screw, which I'm sure I have, because I got all these screws right here, boys. And I'm sure I have one in there we could use, I do. Friggin' right, I do. First thing I'm gonna do is take the shocks off, the towers, eh? We know the old shock Aruskis are the old power Aruskis, boys. Once we find the right size screw. Now I'm using my uh, Panasonic camcorder, so hopefully I'm able to catch all the footage here. If I can't, it is what it is, it is. So we'll zing this off like so, eh? Hi. Oh, maybe. Oh man, there's gotta be a faster way, boys. That just takes way too long. I like to bring up a little doodad, but I don't know where it went to. We're gonna hand bomb for now, we are. This thing's right in your way. Let's move that for now. Oh, there it is. Is that the right one? Decent. So slap this in here like so, and we'll zing her out, boys. Holy, you think I got a long enough screw in that one? We'll zing this one off. There we go. Those are off. So those can go aside for now. And now what we're going to need is some lower control arms. We'll get the tires off here because the tires are in my freaking way, boys. So we'll remove the old tires here to give us some extra little space of rooski. Where's the other tire? Oh, it's on the other frame. If anybody's wondering, I'm running the uh, Proline Trenchers 2.8 on the old slash rooski, boys. The only thing you have to do when you run these tires is you have to do a little bit of a body lift, you do. Lift the old body, boys. So there we go, that's off. Yank off this control arm, we will, with a, uh, another Torx. I don't know if this is the right side, but let's check it out. Sure is. Easy. So we'll slide that off, we'll pull that off, and we'll set that aside, please. Something just fell out, I don't know what it was. It landed right on my cock, dude. We'll grab ourselves a control arm, which I have lots of, and it goes on this way, boys. So we'll slide that in like that, slap the old pin back in like so, tighten her back up, careful, there we go, and then we'll uh, put the old drive shaft back together. Uh-oh. How the hell did that thing pop apart? Holy. Wow, I must have hit it real hard, boys. So we'll undo a control arm of some sort. There we go. And one more. One more. So we'll slap that drive shaft back together. There we go. We'll slap it back in the, the old Pokorooski here. And we'll slap these screws back in, boys. Girls, peoples. One. Make sure you don't put these too tight or you'll stop from turning, just so you know. So now we'll slap this control arm back in here and we'll throw the pin back through her to kind of hold her together so she's not all flapping in the wind, boys. Just like so, eh? There we go. So there's one side. So now we'll do the other side, we will. Now the piece I broke on the steering, believe it or not, was just one arm, this one right here. Out of that whole kit, I broke that. Now normally I would change the whole thing, but 
I'm not gonna because. Why would I? We'll reuse, baby. I won't use the other parts until I freaking have to. That's the way I roll. So we'll take that screw out here because it's probably the easier one of the two. So we can get this part apart, right? I gotta get some new freaking tools for my RC bag here. They're all cocked over. I haven't been in here in a while. It's been a few days. Give me five minutes while I find the right one. There it is. So we'll undo this. Oh, yeah, we will. If I can hold on to it. Man, it's gonna be nice to see this thing in one piece again, I'll tell you. She needs a good cleaning though, I'll tell you that right now. There we go, that's off. Take the screw out so we don't lose it. And move that out of the way again, boys. So now we need to zing this tire off. We'll get the front end back together first and then we'll go from there, eh? We'll get her all in one piece, boys. Kinda miss the old RC stuff, eh? I don't do a hell of a lot of it, but I miss it, so... I'm kind of all over the map with my videos I am. And I like it that way, boys, because that's the way I roll. So we'll take this bottom pin out of the old lower control arm to this busted. Let's we'll throw that over there. Look at that, boys. I don't think that's supposed to be pointing up, eh? It's supposed to be pointing down, just so you know. So we'll spin this around, and we'll try to figure out how this goes. So it goes in like this, and then this goes back on here like so. Freaking right it does. This little room is kind of cozy down here. I should use it more often, but it's just all dicked over right now, but hey, it is what it is, it is. Freaking right it is. The old camera there has got one bar on the battery, boys, so hopefully we make her be by the end of the video here. So that's on the top one, so we'll slap this back in. I'm gonna have to do some camber adjustments on this thing too, because when I UDR'd it, I UDR'd it but good, boys. Gatlin's face just dropped when I hit this thing, full tilt with the UDR. It's like, what are you doing, man? I was like, wrecking stuff. It's decent. We'll slap this back in here like this. That's in. So this is gonna go, uh-oh. We might have done more damage here than I thought, boys. I might have a little extra piece here missing, I do. These two screws here go through here, I think, boys. Just trying to figure this out, so bear with the old bilster here. Don't, I didn't really uh, think this one through too good here. So when you're putting this in, this face is down. Let me turn this around so hopefully you can maybe see something. Something, boys. Careful, easy, gentle. Careful. Oh. There she is. So we'll slap this back in here like this, drop that in there like that, and we'll talk everything over like this. Slap that back in there, slap that back in there. Boys, like rest of the bear it is. I'm not really into breaking steering stuff, I'll tell you. A little bit more of a pain in the ass. There we go. Now we gotta try to get this screw out. Oh my God, what is going on here? Boys, oh, that's a tower. I did bust the tower. So actually I ended up broke, breaking this whole piece right here I did, but we're gonna have to see if we can kind of fabricate it together here, boys, because she's not good. Oh, I can't hold on to that thing. Well, there's a will, there's a way, there is. Let me see what I got over here in part. No, 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 no. Let's look in the bottom of the case. Look over here, would you? Look in the bottom of the old case. So I haven't got one of them in there, and I haven't got one of them in there. So I don't think I got one of them spare pieces, boys. So we're gonna have to make it work. So I'll show you how I make things work. You can always make things work, we can. We need a pair of pliers, boys. All right, I brought a drill, because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that. So we'll get this off here. There we go. Put that back on there. Bearing goes back in here. So what you gotta do when you do this, and you don't have the parts you need, is you gotta look for a screw that's really long, boys. Okay, just like that one right there. So there's a long one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the drill, I'm gonna drill this out, go all the way through the bottom, eh? Why wouldn't you? Just like that. Take this and we'll come up because you don't want a nut on the bottom hanging out. So we'll go up and we'll thread this back on here, but we're gonna have to drill a hole through this because it ain't big enough. So we'll drill a hole through here. So make sure you get a hold of it with something good, boys, so you don't cut your fingers off, eh? Opens it up a little bit. Slide that down the old screw we just put in, like so. The nut, like that. And then we'll get a washer. I don't see a washer in there. I just dumped that out for nothing, for frig's sakes. Actually, I don't know if I need a washer. We'll take a lock nut, and put a lock nut on there, and then we'll tighten her up, boys. Don't over tighten it, whatever you do. Just snug her up, eh? So I'll get that part ordered up, because I'm gonna have to change that. But this is the ultimate way of making it so it works, so we can play, eh? So at least she's back together, she is. Oh yeah, that's nice and tight. So on this bottom plate here, there's two studs that go up about that far into the steering. So what happened is I broke it off at the bottom. So I took it, I drilled through the shaft and drilled right through and I put a nut and a long bolt on there. So now 
She's back together, she is. Hey, and it's working decent. There's no play in it, very little play. That one's got more play, actually, believe it or not. This one here, she's good. So that's a quick way to temporarily fix that arm you bust off. So we'll put the bottom arm back on the other side. Goes in like this, decent. Now I need my nut, which is, uh, should be a shiny one, there it is. Throw that back in there, tighten that back up, decent. Throw that back on here, throw the old pin back through her. And now we just gotta make sure the steering is somewhat straight, which it's not, because... I fucked it up real good, I did. This one needs to come back off because I tight I turned it a few too many times, eh? Why wouldn't I, babe? Why wouldn't you? So let's try one turn. Can you see? Probably not. I'm gonna get the old camera in here better I do. Well that's pretty good. I can adjust the rest by the other one I can. So there's the front end back together. So now we just gotta put the shocks on the front end, boys. So the shocks are missing parts too, they are. So we gotta find them, we do. So we'll slap that back in there like that. They're not very freaking long though, they're like dinky little things. I'm not into the dinky things. Oh, there they are. There's one. I knew I kept them, boys. There's two. So the factory shocks take ones like that they do, eh? where they're sleeved and they have a little bit longer ones. I had these ones that come with the steering, but they're just too short. They don't have a big enough nub, eh? So let's bring you in a little closer here. Let me get you down a little bit. Let me give you a tweaking. Let me get you tweaked. Here we go. So, we'll put the shock back on, which goes this way, and it goes through here like this, and that is way too friggin' tight. What's going on here? I'm trying to remember how the old shocks went back together. There is something missing here, I don't know what. I'll get out my trusty catalog here, we'll have a look. So, the front shocks... Well, that's not a slash. What the hell am I looking at here? And that just does not look right, like it's against a goddamn friggin'. It's against a steering arm, for fuck's sakes. What's really going on? <laughs> Trying to put the shock on the wrong side, boys, just so you know, eh? It's supposed to be in the front. That makes more sense. Alright. So I had the lower control arms upside down, or back to side, or front to back, or whatever the hell you want to call them. So we gotta pull these back out, pull the screws back out, and we gotta do a flip around. There we go. That looks better, boys. Easy rookie mistake. Put the control arms on backwards, I did. Caused you to put the shocks on the wrong side. Just losing it, I am. Right? Just losing it, boys. And there we go. Oh, yeah, eh? Oh, friggin' yeah, boys. We're getting there. So there's one shock back on. They go to the front. They don't go between the steering mechanism like I did the first time. Just losing it, I am. So then we got this little shaft. It goes in like that into the shock. And then that goes into here. And I'm just using all sorts of different screws I got, I am. Why wouldn't I? They don't have to be factory, boys. Just as long as they're freaking tight. As long as they go tight, eh? So we'll slide this back in here like so. Decent. So there's most of the front end done. Oh, yeah, boys. It looks good, too. So now that that's done, we can uh, bring up the old chassis here. I'm going to move you back a little bit so you can see again. Oh, eh? So we'll put this stuff away so we don't lose it. Oh no, we can't flip it over. We can reassemble the steering arm onto the steering, which is gonna be a real bitch where it is. Bah! Oh, we're not gonna find one, so we're gonna use one of these. Go long or go home. I believe in going long, because that way you get the whole thread stuck in, eh? But this is gonna take a little bit of time to get this in, because the way it is, I just kinda cocked myself over. I should've put this in first, but really don't care. Eh? Whatever the hell works, boys. The hands don't work like they used to. This wants to... Fuck. Can't even talk right now. I'm pissed. I just dumped my fucking box everywhere. Alright. Well, that was a little bit of a wrestle it was getting that back in there. Well, we got her. So we got them two, them two, them two, them two. We need the bumper on, which hold the pins in and everything else. So now that this is back together, we're just gonna do some adjustments here. Get everything back in par. Cause like I said, when I hit this thing, I did a good number on her, I did. So we gotta get the camber right. It's not too bad. That looks a little cocked. Not too bad. Maybe one more turn, boys. There we go. Decent. And steering looks pretty friggin' straight. So there we go, boys. Oh, the front shock looks so much better. So there you go. The old Slash Jaruski's back together it is. So hopefully in the next video here we'll get this thing out and we'll see what's going on and see if she rips boys. Just wanted to show you me putting this back together and 
It's mint. She's mint. She's all back together and mint. Freaking right it is. So I go over to this other part here. I need, uh, let me have a look at my book here. Let me have a look at my catalog, boys. Why do they make so many damn different slashes? Oh, here you go. Slash four by four. I'll be all right, boys. Okay. So we need part number 7430 is a part number I need to order. Okay. So if you're watching this, Dennis, order me in a part number 7430, please. Freaking right. Let me know when you get it. If you need your parts, if you need the RC parts and you're in Canada, in my neck of the woods, slot me a little message there and I'll tell you where to go for parts. You're the man, bud. Freaking right you are. But boys, I made myself a freaking mess here. And look at the mess I have to clean up now. If you ever want to straighten up your RC stuff and go through your box and make sure everything's mint, just dump her, boys. And then you can uh, start fresh and sort her out. That's how I do a sort out. Just let the box fall. But anyways, sorry I made this look like kind of a couple cobble screw together, but I haven't done this in a while. And uh, I've been uh, itching to do her, so we got her done. And like I said, it's all in one piece now. So all my RCs are pretty much together. They're just dirty. So I could run any one I want right now. That's freaking decent, except for the boat. The boat's not together. But uh, hopefully everybody had a good family day like I did, and now I'm gonna go up and hang out with the family I am. But I want to do this little hobby thing today because I like, I want to like get back into these RCs a little bit because I'm kind of having a little repercussion miss on them, eh? You gotta play with them once in a while you do. You look at them all and it's like decent, but you never play with them. So we're gonna get back into that and start playing there. Friggin' right we are. Hopefully everybody had a good day. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And uh, you know what to do for now. <laughs>